Hello and welcome to Neil's Spanish Flybox. I hope you're all keeping well. Now for some of you the trout fishing season has just started and for nearly everybody it is early season. So I'm going to tie an early season perdigon today and it's of copper holographic. Now the materials that I'm going to use are this copper holographic thread which is made by Guterman and it's number 6011 which is light copper. As you can see it's a very thin thread. For the collar I'm going to use a claret holographic. This is Madeira and this is a little, just a little bit thicker. And for the thread I'm going to use claret coloured thread and this is 80. For the tail, as usual, I'm going to be using medium parlo coq de lion. Right, in the vise I have uh, a size 14 uh, light nymph hook with a 3.3 silver bead. So let's just uh, mount that. This uh, particular fly or Perdigon has proved its worth time and time again at the beginning of the season uh, and particularly for brown trout. Now I'm not saying that it won't catch rainbows but it is predominantly for browns. Right, uh, as I said the, the tail will be Coq de Lyon so I'll take off a few fibres not too many. Five. Just pull them off at right angles, tear them from the stem and tie them in. But you won't want this too long and that is too long so we'll bring it up to just short of the length of the hook shank and wind down. Right, I'm going to trim off those butts. Right, now I'm going to tie in this uh, copper tinsel. It is thread, it's very, very thin. Access and wind back up to the bead. Like so. Right, these are touching turns. Just take your time, and as I said, this is a very thin tinsel. So it will take just a little bit longer to get up to the bead. But someone once said patience is a virtue. Who knows? And tie that in. And trim it off. Right now, a length of uh, of the holographic for the, the collar. Just trim that off. And tie that in. Off that excess and wind on the collar. And 
trim off the holographic. And tie off the thread. to uh, coat this in UV varnish, thin coating. And another zap. Now, whether you like your polygons thick or thin, this particular fly will certainly be a success. Um, I like mine relatively thin uh, so that it goes through the water columns quicker. And there's the finished fly. I hope you enjoyed that. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider being so. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.